Melissa Cole, the math lady, and today's lesson is all about slope. Here's how I like to teach slope. For me, it's all about a hill or skiing, which is actually horrible for me because I do not ski and I really don't even do winter sports. It's why I live in Florida. <laughs> but if you've ever skied or you understand what skiing is like, you can understand slope. Let's first of all talk about getting up to the ski lift, right? You've got to go up the mountain or up a hill to get to where you're going to ski. So let's talk about that. Sometimes your hills are really steep, right? The slant is really steep. Sometimes it's not quite as steep and sometimes it's really not steep at all. Okay, This is really what we call slope in the world of math. It's just how steep your mountain is to get up. And the more steeper it is, the bigger the slope. So the bigger slope is over here and the smaller slope is over here. Okay, so again, the steeper it is, the bigger the slope is. And another thing I want to teach you about this kind of slope is we're going uphill. When we're going uphill, we call that a positive slope. Okay? If you went up the mountain or up the hill, you have to come down at a certain point, right? Okay, the same thing applies. If you come down the mountain and it's very steep, that means the slope is big. It's a bigger slope when it's very steep. And this one is not quite as steep. And the one over here, it's almost like you could just walk down without a problem. So that would be a smaller slope. And because we are going downhill, we call this slope negative. Now let's put our lines on a grid to see if we can determine what kinds of slope we're talking about here. So take a look at this one right here. Is your slope here positive, negative, zero, or we can't determine what it is? Well, we can see that this is going uphill, so this is a positive slope. But what about this one over here? This just looks like if you were just walking along the street. If you were just walking along a level street, would you say it had a slope? No, you'd say there's no slope or zero slope, and that's what this one is. Okay, this one, again, we're going down the hill, so it means that our slope is negative. And this one, it just is going straight down, right? So this one we say we can't figure out what the slope is. It's undefined or undetermined, okay? So I'm going to say undefined because imagine if you were just walking and going straight down. My gosh, what a nightmare, <laughs> okay? Undefined, can't figure out what it is. You're just dropping from the sky. Oh, don't do that. That's horrible. <laughs> How do you put a number to your slope? Hmm. Well, take a look. We actually have a formula for it, and it is called rise over run. Here's what I mean. We're looking at this line here, and we're going to figure out how much this line is going up, that's the rise, and then how much it's going over, that's the run. Right? Think about when we rise, we go up. When we run, we go side to side. So let's take a look. And how you do that is you take two points on the line, and that's all you need is two points. So let's take this one right here. We are at zero, zero, and to go from zero up to one, the rise would be one. And we went from zero over to one, so our rise is also one, which means the slope of this line is a one. And it doesn't matter which points we take, we can take other points on the line. Let's say we did zero, zero, and this point, which is uh, three, three. So zero, we went up three, one, two, three, and then we went over three, one, two, three. And that would be three over three, which is still one. So this line's slope is one. Take a look at this line. Let's figure out the slope of this line. So we can start again anywhere on the line. Let's start with zero, zero. And let's go to this line over here, which is one comma three. I'm gonna write it down actually. 
or that point over there, I should say. So let's figure out the rise to get from here to there. We're going to go up one, two, three. And then what is our run? We're going to go over one. Okay, three over one, which means that the slope of this line is three, which makes sense, right? It is steeper than the one we just had, which means the slope is going to be bigger. Take a look at this line. Let's figure out its slope. Well, first of all, is this line going uphill or downhill? It's going downhill. What do we know about downhill? It means that our slope is going to be negative, so we can already start with just that. It's going to be a negative number. Okay, let's do our rise and our run. Now, it always is a little weird when we're talking about rise of a negative number, but essentially, we still always start with, are, are we going up or down on the y-axis? So let's start here at 0, 6. Okay, I'm going to write that in a 1 down. And let's go to our first point that is like on a nice number here, which is 3, 4. Okay, so instead of going up, this time we're going to go down. 1, 2, so that would be the rise. It's a negative 2. We went down 2, and we are still going to go to the right. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so our slope for this line is going to be a negative 2 thirds. And we could even try it with another point on the line. Let's try it here. So this point is 6, 2. And let's do it from this point. So we're going to go down 2, 1, 2, which is our negative 2, and go over 3, 1, 2, 3. And you see it's still a negative 2 thirds. So that's your easy peasy lesson on slope, okay? You're going to see a lot of slope in algebra next year, so get used to this. If you can remember rise over run, you are golden. That's it for me today. It's Nicole the Math Lady. I will see you next time. Have a great one.